welcome back to the Citizen Channel. I hope you're all staying safe and well on our player rating show uh, for the 28th of December 2022. Yes, a, a late, late Boxing Day feature. Uh, Leeds United 1, Manchester City 3. So I'll have the player ratings in the company of Mr. Simon Pukowski. Yes, he's come down from his mighty mountain to uh, do the player ratings on this game. It was an 8 pm kickoff, of course. And yeah, it was all right. It was all right. It should have been a bit more comfortable than it was. Let's let's put it that way. Well, uh, please check out my talking point show for a little bit more in depth on the game. This is the player rating, so we'll have a look at the players. We'll have a look at Simon's views, yeah, and we do differ on one or two players. So we'll do that. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. It'd be great to have you on board. If you're pushing buttons, or if you've not reached for a button yet, push that other button, that little like button, that little thumbs up button. Make an old City fan uh, with his bad chest very, very happy at the moment. I just can't shake this chesty cough. Right, the 11. Yes, interesting. I got eight of the 11, so not, not too bad considering the circumstances. Edison, Lewis, Akanji, Stones, Aki, Rodri, De Bruyne, Gundo, Mares, Haaland and Grealish. And on the bench, Ortega, Walker, Phillips, Cancelo, Laporte, Bernardo. Bit of a shock. Gomez, Foden, Palmer. Yes, uh, no Bernardo. Bit odd. I assume we will play against Everton. If he doesn't play against Everton, I'll be worried. Uh, Foden, of course, who did get on, but uh, no sign of Foden. Uh, unusual, but not well, not so unusual if you think about just before the World Cup. And Walker. Yes, no Walker, but yeah, just justifiably reward for Lewis for his uh, game against Liverpool the other day. So uh, didn't surprise me one iota. So I say I did get three wrong, but. Uh, yeah, certainly no uh, biggest surprise to me was Bernardo, basically. Uh, the others probably could have permed any two from three anyway. And right, the ratings. Well, first of all, I'll give you Simon Bukowski's views and then I'll give you my own little view as well. Edison, Simon said, a few iffy kicks. Yeah, uh, I will say now, I thought the pitch was awful. I thought the ball was holding up. It wasn't running smoothly on the pitch. I think, obviously, I don't know what the pitch is normally like at Leeds, but... Uh, it, didn't, it wasn't a snooker table, let's put it that way. And, of course, uh, that was from the start. It wasn't as though it deteriorated. I thought the pitch was a bit iffy and the ball wasn't quite moving as it should. But, hey, that's up to Leeds how they want to play their game. If they can't take advantage at their home ground with long grass and short grass and the ball not rolling, then, you know, when can you? So, fair enough. It's all, all fairs in love and football, as you say. Yeah, a few iffy kicks from Edison. Under Lee's pressure and couldn't prevent Leeds scoring from a set piece. Yeah, I don't think there's any, any blame on him for that. Simon's given a six. I give him a six as well. Yeah, nothing overly dubious to say. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blame him for the for the goal. I wouldn't mind him being a bit more dominant in the air for a big lad from corners, but I don't think that's ever gonna happen. So we have to accept it. Nothing nothing particularly wrong today. Nothing particularly fantastically right either. Lewis, terrific on the ball, said Simon, and off it, spending most of his time next to Rodri and looking like he belonged in the City side. He certainly did. Uh, Simon's given him an eight. Yeah, I'll give him a seven. I'm not going to give him an eight. Uh, no detriment. It's no detriment having him in uh, as opposed to Walker or Cancelo, which uh, is, is a good thing, isn't it? That's, that's, that says a lot. Uh, he lost the ball. I remember one instance where he lost it and then won it back immediately, but uh, up the pitch, yeah, no, no problem to me. Uh, obviously, when we come under a bit of pressure from a better team, it'd be interesting to see. He did cope well against Liverpool, of course, last week. But uh, yeah, he's just just a normal player at the moment. Lewis, I wish he was a little bit bigger though. That's a little criticism. And I, I love his hair, but I'm only jealous. Stones, Simon said, mainly at the right of the three as Lewis pushed up and dealt with the few drama City encountered with his usual calm. Yep. Simon's given a 7, I'll give him a good solid 6.5. I don't think it was quite as calm in the second half, but I don't think as a team we were quite as as calm as defensively in the second half, but but fine for me, Stones. Akanji, similarly unflustered, said Simon, under pressure, knocking the ball about with Aki like it was a Sunday morning park game, but again, on the proviso, probably more in the first and the second half. Simon's given him a seven. I'll give him a seven. They say he's solid enough. He's probably established himself or establishing himself as the main man at the centre of defence. Again, against better teams, against better strikers. Uh, you know, we did have a we did let a goal in from a set piece. I'd like to see our central defenders be a bit more dominant and going and attacking the ball. But yeah, generally fine. Aki played a lovely ball through for Harlan in the first minute. He did and enjoyed the extra freedom, said Simon, that left back offers. Yeah, again, 
because he wasn't under that much pressure for some leads certainly in the first half. So I'm to give him a seven. Uh, I'll give him a seven. Played a very rarely played a poor ball and as calm as ever, which is what I expect from Aki. Rodri drove City forward when they needed it, said Simon, and mopped up at the back. Book for a needless foul in a bad area towards the end. Yes, I wasn't impressed with that. And I thought Rodri's second half was pretty poor. Uh, I thought his first half was excellent. And I did have him a, a quite a high rating. Simon's given him an eight. I've knocked it down to seven. I did have him rating at eight at one stage. But I just thought it was poor the second half. And when we came under pressure, that, that's when he sort of let us down a little bit in the second half, I thought. So, yeah, overall a seven. But as I say, a tale of two hours for Rodri, like it is for one or two players we're going to mention, of course. De Bruyne, Simon said, began with some poor touches but turned it on in a sublime fashion when needed and unlucky not to get an assist. Simon's given him a 7. I've given him an 8.5. I thought De Bruyne was excellent throughout for me. I must, as I say, I'm, I'm always quick to criticise Kevin if he's not doing enough, but I think his little passes and flicks dotted about this game, I thought he's brilliant and no lack of passion and effort either. So, uh, way way different there. Simon's 7, me 8.5. Gundo got into some good areas, said Simon in the box, and tidy enough, albeit outshone by his fellow midfielders. Yeah, well, I see a little bit better up front from Gundo. He's, he's finishing... It's not great at the moment, but I thought he played very, very well. Again, Simon's given him a six. I've given him a seven and a half. I thought it was one of his better performances I've seen for a while, actually. Uh, it does bode well for the future. And Pep seems to give him extra responsibility. So let's see if that new contract set uh, coming up. Mares, Simon said, a quiet game, not helped by much of City's play going through Grealish down the left. I mean, it was all Grealish, wasn't it? Um so I'm giving him a six. I have given him a six point five again on the basis that I thought he had a a pretty good first half and not as quite as efficient. He should have done a little bit better with that little through ball chip from Grealish that he seemed to be able to get a, a left foot to it, but he didn't. Didn't quite get his. It was difficult. Don't get me wrong, but I just thought some of Mahrez's quality of of uh, well, he can control the ball. Can just sort of make some sort of contact. He didn't make any sort of contact with him. So I'll give him a six and a half anyway, but. Uh, say Simon only give him a six Grealish Simon said how do you sum up that performance well you'll try won't you mate uh, with difficulty a shocker in the first half two assists in the second yeah Simon's given him a seven I mean at half time this guy was on four to five for me uh, but yeah I ended up giving him a seven just because he's got the gut he had the guts to take it and he, he won that second goal of course he nipped in and nicked that ball and there's no way he was going to shoot, was it? There's no way he was going to miss up the chance of passing it to Ireland because I just don't think he's got the confidence to think he could score anyway. Uh, but, yeah, I thought he had a cracking second half. Uh, yeah, so I'll be I'll be kind with him. As I said, I was going to give him 6, 6.5, but I'll agree with Simon and give him 7. Harland missed a few decent chances, says Simon in the first half. Scored a few decent chances in the second. Feed him and the machine will score. Well, obviously not all the time. Simon's given an 8. I've given the 7.5 again. He was down at the 5 mark in that first half, 4-5. to five. Uh, It was only because, of the, obviously, the goals he scored in the second half and the movement. He should have done, you know, he, he still should have had a hat-trick. There's no way he shouldn't. He probably could have had a double hat-trick yesterday on the base of it. But uh, Sam's given us 8. I give him a 7.5. Uh, we can't complain, can we, two goals, but I am. <laughs> Substitutes. Yeah, Cancelo for Lewis on 68 minutes. Uh, straight into the action and looks sharp, said Simon. I it was okay. I won't say it was anything special. Anyway, Simon gave him a six. I give him a six. Folding for Grealish on 73. Simon said a much calmer time on the left than Grealish. Well, it wasn't being pushed and pushed and harried, wasn't it, as uh, Grealish was all game. Uh, six from Simon. It, it just no time to mark for me. He was only on from the 73rd minute. Palmer for Mares on 88. Just a late cameo, no marks from either of us. So, of course, not used. Ortega, Walker, Laporte, Gomez, Phillips and Bernardo. I did see, I think, City Man of the Match was Rodri. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I, I give it KDB yesterday. I thought KD was, was without without the massive assists and goals. I thought KDB was excellent and he, he was my man of the match. Uh, and you can't say KDB ever flies under the radar, but I thought it did for me. So uh, I'll probably give it KDB. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Let me know your scores. I know some of you do, uh, <laughs> rightly or wrongly. As I've not been too unkind today. Overall, uh, please check out my Talking Point show for a, an overall view of the game. 
which will include a a sort of, not a minute by minute, but certainly the key moments with the match report and the stats and facts, of course, of the game, including the old XG. So we'll have a look at that. And very, very soon after that, and very, very soon, hopefully after you're watching this, you'll tune in for my preview uh, stroke odd show for the Everton game, which is on the 31st of December 2022. And that should be available from Friday the 30th of December. So you've got uh, 24 hours to wait, depending when you're watching this. And then you've got... Uh, 24 to 36 hours to watch it before the game please do so we enjoy doing it be great to have you on board great to have your views great to have your comments thanks for watching guys until we meet again that's one thing don't i please stay safe blues come on city bye for now